بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویورس ویلکم ٹو مائی چینل کمپیوٹنگ ورلڈ اگر آپ کو میری ویڈیوز اچھی لگیں تو پلیز اسے لائک سبسکرائب اور شیئر ضرور کریں لیٹ اسٹارٹ دی لیکچر ٹو ڈے وی ول ڈسکس ایکسرسائز آف چیپٹر نمبر ون فنڈامنٹلز آف کمپیوٹر اینڈ کوشچن نمبر ون ایز سلیکٹ دی بیسٹ آنسر فار دا فالوئنگ ایم سی کیو سو نمبر ون ایز ہو انوینٹیڈ لاگریدم یعنی کس نے انوینٹ کی تھی لاگریدم تو جان نیپیئر انوینٹیڈ لاگریدم And next one is which generation of computer used transistor. So second generation of computer used transistor. And third MCQ is in which generation of computer microprocessor was introduced. In fourth generation of computer microprocessor was introduced. And fourth MCQ is which of the following computers support thousand of users at the same time. Mainframe computer support thousand of users at the same time. Fifth one is who is responsible for protecting information and information system from unauthorized people in an organization and correct option is information security analyst and sixth mcq is which of the following is the fastest memory cache is the fastest memory and next is what type of software a device driver is a device driver is a system software and mcq number 8 is which of the following is volatile memory and correct option is ram Next is which software is distributed free of cost for limited period as a trial version. So shareware is distributed free of cost for limited period as a trial version. And last MCQ is when were IC chips developed? IC chips were developed in early 1960s. And question number 2 is write short answers of the following questions. And question number 2 is write short answers of the following questions. Here you are supposed to write short answers of the questions. First question is describe Napier's bone and slide rule. Here you will write the basics of Napier's bone and slide rule. And I have discussed this topic in my video. If you want to learn it properly, please visit my channel Computing World. And question number two is compare first and third generation of computers. Here you are supposed to compare two generations of computer, first and third. And next part is differentiate between analog and digital computer. Here you will write the differences between these two computers, analog and digital computers. And next part is Ahmed, a class 9 student, is asking his father to replace his home computer CRT monitor with LCD monitor. How will you justify his demand? Here in this question, Ahmed is a student who wants to replace his monitor. He has a CRT monitor before Ahmed has a monitor. لیکن اب وہ ایک نیو مانیٹر خریدنا چاہتا ہے ایل سی ڈی مانیٹر ایز یو نو دیٹ دیر ٹو ٹائپس آف مانیٹر ایل سی ڈی اینڈ سی آر ٹی تو احمد یہاں پہ اپنی اس ڈیمانڈ کو کس طرح سے جسٹیفائی کرے گا ہیئر یو ول رائڈ دی ایڈوانٹیجز آف ایل سی ڈی اوور سی آر ٹی مانیٹرس اینڈ نیکسٹ کوشچن از وٹ ول ہیپن اف اسٹوریج ڈیوائسز آر ریموو فروم اے کمپیوٹر ایز آل آف یو نو دیٹ اسٹوریج ڈیوائسز آر یوز ٹو اسٹور ڈیٹا ان کمپیوٹر اینڈ اف یو ول ریموو اسٹوریج ڈیوائسز دین اٹ ول بی ڈیفیکلٹ اور ان ایبل ٹو اسٹور data in computer so here you will write the given answer and next question is differentiate between system software and application software so i discussed these topics in my video in detail here you are supposed to write the difference between system software and application software and next question is how a student can use computer to improve academic performance students can get educational material over the internet and they can also get cds dvds for online lectures And next question is give any three uses of computer in library yani library mein computer kis tarah se istemal hota hai yahan par bhi aap ye given answer likh denge and next one is name few household appliances microprocessor used yani jinke andar microprocessor use hota hai un appliances ke names likhne hain aapne so microprocessor is used in microwave oven automatic washing machine dishwashers latest fridges dvd players remote control televisions And last question is what are the tasks performed by operating system? Yani operating system kon kon se tasks perform karta hai? You will write the following answer. So students these topics have been discussed in detail in my videos. Please visit my channel to understand these topics thoroughly. Thanks for watching my video. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share it. Allah Hafiz.